appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. I was just gonna, oh, get hit by a train. Nice. I was just going to say, can you imagine what the sun would feel like after being 30 years underground? Could you live 30 years without experiencing sunlight? Walter died when Isn't that bad for you? I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Oh, so they knew he was down there, but he why didn't he come up? This family is very strange. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. It's just a painting, isn't it? Yep, it's just a painting. <laughs> wow. Okay. Tunneled out and got hit by a train. Jeez. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Hit by a train? No, go back down there. What am I doing? Why aren't you going down? She's not going down. There you go. I have to push up to make her go down. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house. That's creepy. That's creepy. Can you imagine that happening in real life and then being someone like just walking around your house one day making a peanut butter jam jelly sandwich and then some old dude shows up in your house and starts screaming. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Like some creeper busted into your house, dude. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Ugh. Where did he go to the bathroom? In that nasty pit? Trying to bury something that's still alive. All right, hopefully I'm not going to get hit by a train. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. As in Finches? Time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we, we just have so unfortunate curse, outcomes. We made it real. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Look at that. Ah, oh, don't fall off. Will it actually let me fall off? Okay. I'd be like, that'd be kind of ironic. Just fall off. Be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Hello. But I thought you should know about your family. Wait, what? Am I not? Edith, Edith Finch? And the history you're <gasps> a part of. There's a sh Oh, those, that's a light. That's right. Okay, this whole time I thought it was Edith Finch. Maybe I'm just a Finch? Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Okay. Is the family cursed just everyone? People in these stories <sighs> believed them for what that's worth. Well, I don't... So the curse feels like that everyone just dies in very strange ways, but 
the only one that really counters that idea is the freaking kid that launched himself off the gosh dang cliff. And Molly, how, how did she die? She thought she was a cat. And then she thought she got was going to be eaten by a monster. Alright, the proximity sensor lights. Maybe she got sick and had weird dreams. Yeah, maybe like she had... Because fever dreams are definitely a thing and if... Because she was from the 47, right? So if she got a really bad fever. Had that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. We're back outside the house. I didn't think we would be this close to it. Okay, where does it want me to go? Oh, it's all blocked off here. It wants me to go down this path. been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house oof that's rough it's embarrassing maybe, for me to admit this but maybe this is all just a analogy for like if you're expecting negativity or bad things to happen you invite them to happen maybe that's what this the pet cemetery analogous for more uncomfortable than the human one three of the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault <laughs> derpy derpy burpy chirpy furby lurpy zerpy where's bob or rob where's rob bailey i had a dog named bailey there he is bob Shatsy. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Are they actually all built buried right here? Because that's way too close. Molly. Yep. Calvin. 11 spent oh cool look at whoa see cat rocket he wanted to fly Edie Finch what is that just letters something knit Is that supposed to say something? Hub knit for dick. Walter. Yeah, he's in a rock. Barbara Star. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Oh, that's the family Edie and her Sven watching the <laughs> houseboat sink. Could see it poking out of the water at low tide. What? It's like a hundred year old sank in the ocean that shouldn't be there anymore. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Now what? Let 
I missed something. What did I miss? I couldn't activate this again. Hello? Let me look in you. Do I go back home? What did I miss? Hmm. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Oh. Another path. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Here you go. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory, Sam, and Gus. We haven't learned about them yet. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's Milton. Sanjay. Wait. Sanjay Kumar. That's not a Finch. Lewis Finch. That's a paintbrush. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Oof. I don't know who Sanjay is. What happened to Lewis? What is that? Looks like a hat. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Yeah, because <laughs> if you told me that the house had full of passages and weird hidden secret things, I th would probably say you're crazy too. But looking back on it now. Got a sick treehouse though. Always wanted a treehouse like this. Although that's kind of dark, <laughs> you're essentially taking a dead tree and hooking it up to a live tree. It's like, hey, I'm gonna decorate <laughs> your living tree with your dead me brethren. Was so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. I, <coughs> I'm 22 weeks pregnant. I don't even have a belly. And you're gonna go out on a limb when you're 22 weeks pregnant. You're going to be a terrible parent. That's the curse of the Finches. We're horrible parents. Terrible, horrible parents. <coughs> Excuse me. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Yeah, DNA. Ha <laughs> ha. No, no. Wish that. Come on. There's a bear rug. They were both pretty intense. I guess that's kind of a baby bump, but it doesn't look like one. I mean, I, I couldn't set a jar on my belly. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Hunter, he was in war. Oh, it's a... Is that their cat? I thought it was a tiger statue, but... Looks like he had, he had someone, uh... Taxidermist stuff and mount his cat. K. Airline ticket. K Finch, that's another person. Nothing to interact with it though. At least not yet.
Goose. Look at this guy. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the animation is cool. Shooting is strongly encouraged. It's um, it's acting like she's swiping through it. How do I focus it? How do I focus it? Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. There it goes. Now it's working. What? Hi. Surprise. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, Nailed it. Got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. A this is cute. I like this. Ha. <laughs> Where is she? Hmm. Is he just taking a leak? Hey. <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Look at them Last fishes. My brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Got him. That's that stag. You take Whoa! Shot, oh! Take I want to take a picture of the bird. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Oh, great shot, Don. Oh, <laughs> oh, poor girl. Am I trying to take a selfie with her crying in the background? I'm proud of you, Don. <laughs> that poor girl. Okay. Oh, run. That poor girl. Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. <laughs> no, it's horrible. <laughs> this doesn't look like a moment she wants to cherish. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about it. Dad! What a horrible memory. Heckin, that's uh, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. That's why <laughs> that poor girl and she warned you was twitching. You probably should have made sure that it was dead dead. Oh. Jeez. That looks like a real photo right there. <laughs> Sam spent his Excuse life me. shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. All right, don't go in there yet. No, I wanted to see if that K thing lit up. I don't think it will, but 